everybody. It's Will and Chris. We had a few issues with Zoom today. Just. Uh, just, just a, just a f- more than a few. Just a big bucket full. Uh, anybody that's used Zoom knows that sometimes gremlins can get in the system. It just happens. Yeah, it just does. So, uh, a huge thank you to Mary for yeah. her patience with us. She was great, great interview, and we hope you enjoy it. Welcome to the Eternal ROI Podcast, where we share the real stories of workplace transformation. And now, here are your hosts, Will Stewart and Chris Patton. Welcome to the Eternal ROI Podcast. Good to have everybody watching and listening along. I'm Will Stewart, joined as always by the CEO of His Way at Work, Chris Patton. Hey, Chris. Will, how are you doing? Doing well. Doing well. So today we've got a special guest. You do. Mary Prather, who is with Right Now Media. And uh, I'm going to let you let her tell a little bit more about what they do. But this is a huge resource that we use at His Way at Work. Uh, as part of our membership, we encourage all of our businesses to, to go down this path because it's a well, I'll just let her tell about it. So let's bring her on board. <laughs> let's do it. Hey, Mary, how are you? Great. How are you guys? Doing great. Welcome to the show. So glad to have you on. Tell us a little bit about yourself. Tell us a little bit about uh, Right Now Media, everything that, that, a little bit about you and then a little bit about uh, what you do with Right Now Media. Great. Well, first of all, I love this conversation and I'm thrilled to be a part of it. I think what mm-hmm. you're doing is a fantastic resource for people. Um, in the workplace and workplace ministry is close to my heart. So thank you for having me today. Our pleasure. So I'm Mary Prather and I am from McKinney, Texas, which is a suburb of Dallas, Texas, for those of you that aren't familiar with it. Um, First and foremost, I'm a Christian wife and mother. I have two wonderful children and I attend a local church here, Christ Fellowship, which I've gone to for about 20 years. And I uh, serve my work life daily in a ministry called Right Now Media. I'm very blessed to do so and get to work with some fantastic people and serve the global church and our ministry is called to create videos that talk about the gospel and talk about faith and how to live every day and we make really good videos but we rely on the spirit to get those into the hands of people that need them and this morning i got an email that we're served we just crossed a benchmark and we're serving four million people across the globe wow that are using our our um, videos as resources both for living our faith um, at home with our children, with our families, with our friends, but also in a workplace as well. Awesome. That's incredible. That's a, an amazing reach, a great milestone. So Mary, if someone were to log on to Right Now Media, what would they expect? Is it Christian movies? Is it instructional videos? Kind of, What is that? I've heard people compare us to, um, to Christian Netflix, mm-hmm. but in reality, it's not entertainment. You're not going to find movies. Um, what you're going to find are videos that are faith centered about the Bible, anything from parenting to how to be a good boss, how to be a good teammate, how do you disciple someone, or if you just have questions about your faith and you want to dig deeper into what is this stuff about the Trinity and I don't understand it. There are so many resources that you can um, use in video resource um, from different teachers from across, across the globe. That's incredible. So the people who are, are watching these videos and enjoying them, I, I assume it, it's it's families. Is it, it is it churches? Is it businesses? Like who's what's that mix look like? We have two different platforms. The first platform is a resource for the church, and churches have subscriptions and they give it free to everyone that comes into their to their church. There are about twenty five hundred kids videos, which is really nice as a parent when you need to have a little babysitter that is the TV and get something done, you can put on a really good video that's not gonna be two clicks away from something your kids shouldn't see on YouTube. So that's really fun to see. Um, And then we have things that are geared towards women, men, young teens, uh, young adults, married couples, just a little bit of everything. The work platform is has access to everything that's on the church platform, but it looks a little bit different. It looks a little bit like an employee employee resource. Mm -hmm program where how to be better at home, how do you have work-life balance, how do I, um, how am I better at work, how do I be a better teammate, how do I communicate in the workplace that's Christ-like but still can get, be professional and get my job done, Um, how do I, again, how to be a good boss, how to fire someone with grace, that's an interesting study that we have. Um, You know, I don't think that a lot of people connect faith with work, but in the workplace is the best an easy time to show cross like love. And so there's a tons of studies on that as well. So Mary, I'm familiar with the platform, but describe a little bit how, let's say a certain business uh, 
subscribes and, and pays to be on this platform, what does that look like? Describe how, you know, the ownership of the company, the leadership may have, you know, would have access, but also uh, the way I believe the membership works or the subscription works, every employee has their own access. There's usage, statistics, that kind of thing. Go into a little depth there for what a business owner might expect. Our, our membership is um, it's a subscription base where a company decides that they want to be able to serve the people that work for them. And it can be done in several different ways, but the easy, an easy way with us is to subscribe and you pay a one-time monthly subscription rate and then you are able to give that to everyone that works for you. The blessing about what I how we're set up is it's not just the people that work for you, but it's their families as well. It's your vendors. Um, you can share it with anyone that you're in contact with it kind of follows that discipleship of go and tell your friends. So that's kind of the mantra that we use as well. And when you log on, it looks a little bit like Netflix. And I think this is where the comparison with mm -hmm. Netflix comes in is because it's a ton of videos and you can sort them by search words. You can go in and find uh, funny videos that we use and illustrations, um, studies, devotionals, all kinds of things, um, just based on keywords. And so I think that that's kind of the way that we're laid out the platform for the artwork. That's where the Netflix comparison comes in. So take it a little, one step further. I know um, what you described for employees and their families. Um, in mm -hmm. many cases, you've got a lot of work related video, but you said also the families, right? They have access. So there are also crisis related videos. So go into some of that, whether it's, uh, you know, couples facing marital issues or issues with substance abuse or addictions or other things. You've got content on a such a huge spectrum uh, of things that re regular people that are at work also need when they're at home. Correct. So let me just give you an example of how we use it at Right Now Media. From the moment that someone interviews with our company, we want to use our resource as user one. And so we send a great study by Pat Lencioni um, that talks about the effectiveness of a teammate. And in that, it describes the kind of person we want to work for a company, being humble, hungry, and smart. And we send them a five-minute video and we ask their opinion about, where do you fall in this? What do you think about that? we can get to know someone pretty quickly through the hiring process just using that video but it also sets the expectations of what kind of company we are what are you going to how are you going to find success if you walk through our doors these are the things we're looking for and these are the things that we're going to help build you up as well so once someone comes into our doors we use studies for management how do we become better managers um, how do we work through the day-to-day -day of a person walking into your room and talking to you about a personal problem that's a very uncomfortable situation, or it can be. And there are all these lines of what you can and can't say to employees now. These give us really good tools on how to speak to our employees with Christ Like Love, but also managing the professional aspects of our positions as well. And then you have people that may not ever come into your office. There are financial issues at home. There may be addictions, but they don't want to tell their boss. They don't want to come in and say, hey, I'm addicted to gambling. And that's an embarrassing thing for some people. And maybe that trust and relationship isn't quite there. There are resources on our site that can help them at night when you're not around. Um, or if you don't have that relationship yet, whether they're a newer employee or just depending on the situation, it's a really great tool that can be used at all time. Some of the most popular ones that we get from the Outwork study, we have John Maxwell, Pat Lencioni. There's some really good studies on there on this is where I am today and this is where I want to go in my career and how do I get there? And so this tells you how to go through the, that ladder climbing of a career um, using all the things that the Bible tells us about work. Work is good and it's okay to work and it's okay for a Christian to make money. So what does that look like in the workplace for a Christian? And can you do that? Can you navigate through a corporate world and still have the heart that we're supposed to have and the grace and the love that we're supposed to show? And yes, it can be done. So there are so many ways that you can find um, applications and biblical resources. Mm -hmm. I think that the way that the platform is developed and how you can search so easily, if you open up the Bible and you're trying to figure out, I got to walk into a situation today, it's going to be very uncomfortable, and how do I do this? It might be a little difficult for someone to find that exact Bible verse in the, in the Bible. But with couple searches, you can find several studies about that same situation that can just really resource you. 
That's excellent. Incredible. It's like a Christian mentor, you know, mm-hmm. someone who can just help you along the way. It's great for for the leadership, and it's also great for employees as well. Uh, and then just integrating, it sounds like a lot of people are integrating this into their, their processes as they're onboarding employees and, you know, facing situations and just kind of a, a regular part of, of of how they do everything. Um, so what are some examples you might have of people who have used your product and have been able to, you know, integrate it into their business and have seen some great success? We hear stories all the time of um, salvations that come from people, that conversations that start. Those are the most fantastic, but just real life examples of especially like the at work platform that's so fun to see. We had a, a group of banks that had 64 locations and each branch was set up as their own location. And we really worked with their leadership to help them figure out what was happening in their branches and the stories that were being watched. We do not go in and look at individual stories. So if I go in and pull something up on finances, my boss will never see that I pulled that up. But as a whole, we can see if a whole group of people are looking at certain kinds of stories. Mm-hmm. Um, and that this one of their branches was actually robbed at, gr- at gunpoint and the security guard was shot. He did live, which was a blessing, but it caused a lot of trauma in that branch. And almost immediately they started to see the story going from kids videos and family and communication to anxiety and stress. Mm -hmm. And what does the Bible say about that? We have some really good uh, video resources for those things for how to deal with stress and anxiety and specifically work stress and work anxiety. And the leadership was able to see that and they recognized that they brought a chaplain in, they brought a counselor in and they were able to really care for the mental well-being of that branch. And it wasn't something that was just going to be fixed in a, in a week or so, but it was months and months and months of continued care. But it was just a little highlight and insight to what was happening within that group because of really a trauma that had happened in the organization. I think that you see things like that with, um, I'm in Texas and the oil industry has just gone through some crazy times in the last year. And we can see in some of the big oil industry companies that we work with that finances are, people are starting to look at their finances. And that's interesting. And it's a tool to say, hey, people are concerned about their money. Yes, they know from a company perspective, the numbers aren't being met and things are happening. But from an individual perspective, you can really care for your employees if you know kind of what's happening with them. So that's a good tool that you can use in an HR or um, leadership can use based on what they're seeing with our platform. Mary, just one thought. Go back to the banks and the oil companies Mm -hmm. and ask the question, what if those companies in particular going through that situation and did not have this resource? Mm -hmm. Number one, didn't have the resource for those families to dig into. Number two, didn't have the reporting that while anonymous shows group usage and the increase in usage in certain situations, that gives them the warning flag to say, hey, we need to step in. What does the business look like? And I think we can all assume what that looks like, but what does the business look like that doesn't have any kind of resource, doesn't take the time to address because they didn't know that was an issue? Where does that go? I mean, that turns into higher turnover, right? Turns into loss of productivity, all sorts of business impacts, and we're talking about impacting the people, the families, their eternity, but we can also, there's nothing wrong with showing what the business impact would be not to have something like this to to rely on. Okay. So if you think about the situation of the bank, and you think about how Right Now Media was a resource and a powerful tool for leadership, what that did is it gave them insight to what was happening in their business. Um, just based on how you run a company, there could be something that happens and you don't know about it for three or six months, but yet immediately it's starting to impact your bottom line. If a person who's sitting in a seat and fulfilling a job for you is not able to mentally com- just do their position, it affects your bottom line, it affects the people that you work with, it affects their teammates, Um, It can affect short-term and long-term return on on your investment with that employee, which can also affect their family life. And if they're not happy at home, chances are they're not going to be successful in the business. It's okay to worry about that. It's okay to want them to work hard. Colossians tells us we're supposed to work hard. 
but we want to make sure that we're creating an environment that enables them to do so. Having that inside knowledge of what had happened at the bank and then knowing that people were immediately impacted based on what they were watching on our site, being able to give that information to leadership, enable them to take immediate action. It still was two or three weeks later. It wasn't the next day because it took people time to go in and find resources and start to watch them. Then we reported it. But three weeks is better than six months later when you're looking at your bottom line and wondering what happened six months ago. We, you know, we sent in a chaplain for the day and everything should have been fixed. Knowing that that was more of a long-term problem gave them the ability to go and address it. And I think that we all would love that kind of insight. What, what is happening? What are the motivations of the people in your building that are helping you fulfill that company mission? And if you have some sort of an insight, even anonymous, because remember these are anonymous viewings, that that can be a, can be a powerful leadership tool. That's great. Yeah, absolutely. It allows a, a company to be proactive, you know, before the crisis hits, having those that content there uh, communicates to employees that you care and that you're doing what you can to, to help them through difficult times. So how do uh, business leaders integrate this into their, their business? I know it's, it's, they're going to the website and you got to sign up, but once they've signed up, like how do they make sure that employees are engaging in this and, and that's something that's helping them through the whole process in their company? Right. So we certainly can't tell someone how to run their business. We can give you best case practices that have worked in the past. And we work with, you know, blue collar all the way up to high tech firms, ministries, churches, and every industry is a little bit different. The first and most important thing is that you just make sure everyone has an invitation and that they know that that invitation can be shared with their family, that you can share those with vendors and your customers as well. That's the main thing. The invitation is there. That invitation comes with a message that this is a free subscription to you. It's a ton of videos. It's about 30,000 videos. We'd love for you to be able to see that. And we care for our employees and this is why you have it. There are other things that you can do throughout the year. We have a customer success person that will work with you and help you based on your pain points or your needs or what is successful and what the next step would be. Um, relaunching every year to make sure all new employees have gotten access or anyone who maybe didn't see the first invitation gets access to it. Talking about us in company meetings or newsletters is a good way. And then using the platform as well. If you are very active in a Bible study to use it for those Bible studies, there's group features that can be used. So there's many, many different ways. And we really try to listen to each company to see what their, how they work with their company, what their communication is to